Today I want to answer the question about powering uh, diesel heaters. So this is the diesel heater I have in my garage. Uh, there's been question mark on whether or not you can power it out of the cigarette lighter plug out of uh, a power station. And the reason being, these run on 12 volt and cigarette lighter is 12 volt. So it kind of sounds like it should work. Uh, I, and I have seen cases on, on videos where it does work, uh, but I've also seen cases where it doesn't. So I'm going to try this with two different power stations um, to see uh, what the power draw is. The other, the other thing I want to answer is how much power do they actually use? And how much do they use on a power station using the 110 through a 12-volt uh, uh, converter or the direct 12-volt? Part of the issue is that the 12-volt cigarette lighter plug uh, generally is usually rated to either 8 or 10 amps and the glow plug on these takes considerably more than when it's actually running. How much is, is up for debate? I've tested uh, my other diesel heater that is in my cabin and it looks like it takes about 10 amps to, to get started, which is great. Um, the thing about these power stations is they do have the 12 volt cigarette lighter output. It's not something that's directly connected to the battery internally. The battery inside of these is actually like a 51 volt kind of battery. So there's electronic circuitry to get it to that 12 volt output. Uh, so it's not just a direct hookup to a 12 volt battery. You can hook these up to a 12 volt battery without issue. And if that's what you've got, then you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. You can just hook it up straight up to your battery. But if you're not, if you're planning on using it with a power station like I am, um, then you want to know if you can use the lighter plug or not because the lighter plug will use less power because there's no overhead from the 120 volt inverter part. If any of that made any sense. Uh, so anyway, I, I just want to see how much power it draws. Uh, we're going to see what it's showing on the EcoFlow as it, as it runs through 110 volt, which is connected to a 12 volt power supply, which is what powers the diesel heater. Uh, and we're going to try it direct with a lighter plug. Uh, and I have, as, as I said, another power station that we're going to try both of those things as well. We're going to see what the power draw is on each of these. So let's get started. So I'm going to um, start the EcoFlow 110 and then I'm going to start the diesel heater. I've got another camera. Well, it's my other phone uh, set up to, so I'll, I'll have a close up of the display up here in the corner. Okay, my 12 volt power supply is on. Um, it's not registering anything on the EcoFlow yet for power draw, uh, but we'll see. So I'll turn this on. As you can see, the power is ramping up on the EcoFlow. Indicate the glow plugs. Glow plugs are, are warming up. Fans are starting to warm up. See, it looks like I'm at 120 watts, 121 watts which, you know, 12 volt, 12.1 volt times 10 amps, 100, it, it, in theory might work. We'll find out. Don't forget in that 121 watts is the overhead for the inverter as well. So it should theoretically be taking a little less than that. Diesel pump has started. And as the fans start, it's starting to take a little bit more power as well.
close to 140 watts now. So I don't know. We'll see if the lighter plug will do it. Looks like the glow plug is kicked off now. I'm hoping you can hear me on my bike because I'm sitting right next to this thing. There's definitely heat coming out now. Normally I don't run it like this. Normally it's piped outside. I've got my, my garage door open, so fumes don't get me, but I can smell the diesel. So 35 to 40 watts is what it's pulling as it's running. I'm going to shut it down now and we're going to try it uh, with, the, with the lighter plug. Okay, I'm going to, I've got uh, a lighter plug plugged in and it's just on alligator clips on the 12 volt on here. I'm going to turn on the, the uh, 12 volt, uh, the, the lighter plug on the EcoFlow and uh, we'll see what happens. It's showing 12 volts and uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens here. Interesting, it's ramping up a lot slower than on the 12 volt power supply. Oh, well, colored me impressed. It actually does work out of the lighter plug. Who knew? Well, colored me impressed. Uh, I didn't think this was going to work, honestly. I, I've seen videos where somebody had the exact same power station. Uh, an EcoFlow 2, um, and they attempted to run their particular diesel heater out of a uh, lighter plug, same as I'm doing here, and it just shut down, um, said it was too much. And I have also seen other diesel heaters that were attempted to be run on 150 watt 12 volt power supplies that are hooked up to one to shore power uh, that also failed. But this one worked. The, the little Cassie worked out, so I'm impressed. And now I'm going to try this on my little All Powers. I think it's a S600, something I picked up a year ago. It was pretty cheap. It's a 600 watt hours and 700 watts of output. Um, I've never tried the lighter plug in it, but we're going to try it on this, and uh, we're going to see what happens. So it's showing 13 volts, which is interesting. Let's see what happens. 95 watts.
So that's super interesting. So that's super interesting. It looks like there's less wattage being put out of the all powers than there was out of the EcoFlow. I'm sure that's just maybe something to do with the electronics and how it's displaying the wattage. But the interesting part of that was it was putting out 13 volts, uh, not 12. And uh, it seems to be working extremely well uh, on that. So it could be that because it's putting out more volts, less amps, I'm not sure. I don't know how that how it exactly calculates. Bottom line is I actually don't even trust the, the, the display on these to be 100% accurate anyway, but uh, interesting to see, and it absolutely is working out of the uh, lighter plug out of the cheap all powers power station. And just for fun, we're going to, just for comparison of the watt output that uh, was shown on the, on the all powers power station, we're gonna do this through the 12 volt power supply, but plugged into the AC on that. Um, just as an interesting note, it's showing eight watts without me turning this thing on. So eight watts is what the, the 12 volt power supply probably takes on its own. So it is showing a little more watt output on the power station as it's doing the startup and as the uh, glow plugs are on. As I said, it's 8 watts just going to the 12 volt power supply itself. And there's an AC inverter on the power station which is going to take a little bit of power as well. So that's interesting. It, uh, it's taking 38 watts now on uh, AC to a 12 volt power supply. So overhead of the inverter, overhead of the power supply itself uh, to power the the uh, diesel heater. And it was less than that, obviously, just straight out of the power supply. So good to know. I mean, if you're trying to squeeze every last drop of power out of your battery, you know, direct is obviously the way to go and avoid the, the uh, interference in the middle. So that's the answer on whether or not you can power a this particular diesel heater anyway. Uh, this is the Lacassie. Uh, you've, I've had it in previous videos. And my other heater is also the same brand name. Um, can you power them out of the lighter plug of a power station? The answer is yes. Uh, it can be a cheap one like the All Powers. It can be uh, Delta II, EcoFlow. Um, either one will work. Will I do it in my cabin? I'm not actually sure, and here's why. I feel like I was pushing the limits of the lighter plug output on uh, both of these, probably. Uh, and I don't really have any concerns if that was the only thing that was going to be plugged into 12 volt. Uh, but I have all my lighting that I'm going to have there, which adds up to somewhere in the range of 42 watts. Uh, of LED lighting uh, will be in the cabin as well. And if you happen to have a phone plugged in or something like that uh, charging, then uh, that's going to be more overhead. And uh, who knows what other 12 volt stuff I'm going to have. So if I add that on top of the draw from the startup of a diesel heater, I feel like that'll probably overpower a lighter plug. For either one of these so I, I probably won't do that i probably will still continue to run the 12 volt power supply out of uh, 120 volt out of the power station at least for now some point when i get a uh, permanent battery uh, installed in that cabin uh, then that's a different story then i will hook up direct to 12 volt and do it that way but for now i think i will stick to uh, using the power supply 
to power the, the heaters as well as all of my other 12 volt lighting and whatnot. I just don't feel like there's enough uh, amperage that comes out of the, the lighter plugs of these. They're supposed to be 10 amp. That's supposed to be the, the, the max power of any lighter plug is 10 amp, which is 120 watts. So I feel like, you know, I, I pushed the limit on it today and it did work. And, you know, that would certainly work in a pinch. And if that was the only thing you were doing, if the only thing you were doing was taking one of your power supplies, your power station, sorry, and powering your diesel heater in the camping situation or something like that, then great. Then, then you should be fine. Um, but if you plan to run more than that, I, I feel like you should probably have a dedicated 12 volt power supply with, you know, 250 watts probably, which is what mine are. Thanks.